Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm here at the Hatfield Public Library with a box of kids books and I am not going to hold back because the one on the top is super cute. I am just going to dive right in. Um, it's called <laughs> just, it's called Never Touch a Grumpy Bunny. <laughs> And I love this. I can think of so many times when my kids have been grumpy bunnies and um, maybe sometimes when I have been a grumpy bunny. Um, it seems like maybe there might, this is actually rubber too. This is really fun. Um, this is really fun to uh, feel. Like I can see kids being into that. Um, I, thought, I thought maybe there was an Easter tie-in, but actually I think it's just a bunny because, you know, why not? Bunnies, bunnies are great year round. Uh, let's see. Gigantosaurus wears Giganto, and it's a fun slide and seek story. This is so great for kids. I love this. And I have to say, sometimes these slidey ones can be kind of easy uh, to break, but this looks like it would be really hard to break. Oh, and it looks two, two on each page. Oops, can't do it. Um, that is, let me tell you, I have a two year old right now, and this. Kind of thing that goes over really well so that's what we need more of uh touch and learn farm with soft felt finger trails oh interesting oh look hmm. Hmm. so each page has some felt between the pages and then you can sort of feel along the felt oh and it has arrows to show you which way so fun <laughs> Okay, there's there's some non-board books in here. Um, yeah, there's even some chapter books and graphic novels. We'll go through these. <laughs> but first, all of the board books. <laughs> if you're looking for the chapter books, you just have to uh, uh, put up with some more cuteness first. So this is a pop-up book called I Love My Monster. Oh, my goodness. And, um, oh, look, the monster is having a picnic. Um, oh, it looks like this actually has like little lift the flax flap things too. So another fun interactive one. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. PJ Masks, Heroes Everywhere, Lift the Flap. This is like a popular TV show for kids. This has a lot of flaps. Wow, this is like an advent calendar. It has so many flaps. Oh, this is something a little different. We have a audio book. Um, that's, it's not a new book. Nimona is a super popular graphic novel, and apparently they did a full cast audio version. Um, I've talked to so many people who love this, uh, uh, graphic novel, and then Jocelyn, our children's librarian, said that the full cast audio version is really great, and we always try to have, um, we like audiobooks that are good, you know, if you're on a family car trip or something like that, so this seems like a good candidate for that. If you don't have a CD player anymore, it's actually also available, uh, through Libby, um, but we'll have it here on our shelf. We have the newest in the um, Dragon Master series, which is up to 20 books now. Um, my kids have read a, one of, a lot of them. Uh, this, this chapter book series is really just holding up really well with the kids. Very, like, perfect, like, introduction to sort of, like, fantasy world building. Very, like, simple but compelling stories. Um, if you have a kid who's just, just transitioning to chapter books, it's a good place to start them out. Uh, the Bad Guys. This is the newest one in the Aaron Blabley's Bad Guys series, which is, is basically a graphic novel. I was going to say it's a hybrid, but actually, it's just a graphic novel. Another one, another graphic novel, Bl Black Blood Acolyte. Why can't I say that word, Acolyte? Um, and, hmm. So it's a fantasy, an evil group of mages called Black Bloods went rogue. Um, the king imprisoned all mages. There are mage siblings who are in hiding. Sounds like a good, solid, fancy story. Uh, you, you can tell they use the good paper with this one. It's kind of heavy, but <laughs> the kids these days, I'm sure they can handle a heavy book. So Cat Kid Comic Club Perspective. I don't even know what that means. Hmm. So is it just a story or is this something different? Dun, dun, dun. Seems like maybe.
maybe it's a bunch of like shorts. That's my impression. That maybe it's not like one big story, but it's just a bunch of short, different comic books. So for kids who are a fan of the uh, Cat Kid and Dog Man and uh, Captain Underpants, I'm sure they'll be happy. And then we introduced the Wimmel books, the sort of look and find Wimmel books in the last kids video and we just have one more of them that came in they're by max walter they're um, sort of very detailed um scenes each book has a different theme this one is dinosaurs and uh they tell you things to find on every page and um you can sort of go through you can maybe pick something and go through a couple of times there's lots of little details to notice in each page so now we have a whole whole collection of those for people to bring home I did it. Empty box. Um, stop by soon and grab these off the shelf. Bye.